been talking about the last few days. Multiplication. So today we're really going to talk about division. And multiplication and division, they really go hand in hand. Okay? So what have we learned lately that relates to division? Come on. Multiplication. Multiplication, that's right. Because when we multiply, we are giving two numbers and we're trying to find the answer. What do you think happens when we divide? Your answer is going to be smaller because when you divide, you're technically given the answer already and you're given a part and you're going to multiply, uh, divide all of that up. Yep, you're going to divide it all up among something. Okay. So, when do you think we will use division in real life or in the future? Serenity. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use it tomorrow, <laughs> Natalie. For jobs. Sure. Yeah, we could use it for jobs. Anybody else? What about if you wanted to buy something for the class? You wanted to make sure everybody got a gift for the class, but you bought like a bunch of candy, and you wanted to make sure everyone got at least two pieces of candy. The last little piece. Right. You have to divide it up. Make sure that you had enough. Right. So, you can think about pizza, too. We got a whole pizza and you want to divide it up. That's how we could use the vision in real life. Yes, Liliana. Money. Money? We 
talked about this in Fantastic Five. What is our quotient? The answer. The answer, correct. So this is going to be how many in each group? our big number. Our divisor is how many groups? How many groups are we going to divide our thing, our whatever object into, our total into? Your quotient is your answer. How many in each group? And then after we've divided and everything else, and if we have any numbers left over, that's called our remainder. Okay? We good? Oh, you want to answer the last one? Okay. <laughs> All right, 
so the answer to a division problem is called the Martin quotient. Okay, and so the quotient for this problem would be what? What number would the quotient be? Three. Three. Okay, 
right? So as we work through all these division problems, we need to ask ourselves, how many times, this is just an example, how many times does 6 go into 8? That's where we would divide. Multiply. 1 times 6 equals subtract. 8 minus 6 equals and then you bring down any other numbers that we're working with, okay? Whenever you've gotten all this, um, give me a thumbs up. Four is what? 
Three. Three. Okay. So what do we do next, you think? We bring it down. Bring it down. Because we got our burgers. So we have to bring down. So that means we're going to bring our six down. So it's 36. Yep. Okay. So now we're going to ask ourselves, can four go into three? No. 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 Can four go into 36? Yes. How many times? Nine. Nine times. So we're going to write our nine here. Right beside our one. So we have divided. So we start that process all the way over when we get a new dividend. Okay? So now we've divided 4 into 36 is 9. What are we going to do next? We multiply. Multiply. 9 times 4 is what? 36. Then what? Subtract. What is 36 minus 36? Zero. So what is our answer? Zero. Nineteen. Yeah, our quotient is up here. So our answer is 19. That zero just says we're done. We don't have to go back to the top and say divide, multiply, subtract, or bring down. There's nothing else for us to bring down. And it equaled out to zero. Okay. Kind of got it, kind of got it. Give me a little hand gesture if you kind of got it. Okay. All right. We're going to practice some more. All right. Moving on to the next one. 92 divided by 3. What is our dividend? What number is our dividend, Martin? 92. We're only, we're only working with a two-digit number, so we only fill in the tens and the ones place. Okay. What is our divisor? Three. And it goes on the outside of our house. So you've got everything set up. Yes. Then we this is where the process starts. So how many times can three go into nine? Three times. Three times. Very good. Then what do we do? We, we multiply. multiply. Three, three times, times three, three is, is nine. Thirty-nine. So what is nine? Oh, sorry. What do we do next? Then we subtract. Nine subtract. Nine minus nine is zero. zero. Okay. Then what? We bring the two down. We bring the two down. To make two down. Okay. Can three go into two? No. 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 It's too big. It's too big. So we're gonna put a zero up there. So what are we gonna um, do next? Since we three can't go into two, so we're gonna put a zero to be our placeholder. We've already divided. What's next? Multiply. Zero times three is zero. Then what? Then we. Subtract. Two minus zero is two. Okay. We can't keep doing that whole process, right? So what is this number called if we have something left over? Remainder. remainder. This is our remainder. So we would write our answer as 30 remainder two. Okay. I know it gets a little tricky when we start adding in those remainders and stuff, but they won't always be like that. Try one more. I get to where there is no remainder. Okay. 